Hi guys, good morning to all of you. Welcome back to another edition of Weekend Football. Today I'm going to talk about Manchester United as usual. And you know tomorrow is Saturday and we'll be playing our match against um, Norwich City. I'm not interested in that match because anything can happen. The way Manchester United is playing of late, anything can happen. So I don't want to talk much about that particular match. What I just want the players to do is that they should go and try to win the match. Because already we are behind, so far behind Tottenham and then, um, let's forget about Arsenal, but Tottenham is far away. And they are playing some good football and I don't expect us to be a problem to Tottenham. Now, there's something that I have observed or I've been reading for the past, let's say, one month. And as usual, there is an English player. There's an English player that everybody, all the English bandits, they are all asking Manchester United to go and buy this player. And you know, the problem I have with the English media is that they can, I don't know how to put it, but they know how to over, um, overrate players overrated players at the end of the day you go and buy this that player thinking that the player is coming to improve the team and you know anytime Manchester United is interested in any player at all they triple the money because they have found out that Manchester United is so desperate for results they are so desperate to win trophies. So any player that performs well in one particular match or in one season, the English bandit will hide that player. He's good for Manchester United. And at the end of the day, they'll go and buy the player. The player comes and the value start decreasing. And they start saying the coach is not good. The coach didn't improve him. The this in this. He was not a good fit. Meanwhile, it is the same pandits who are saying that this coach, this player is good for Manchester United. I'm coming to talk about that player, but I just want to take you back the problem that Manchester United is having since the day Alex Ferguson retired. And up to today, nobody is able to find a solution to why Manchester United, after spending all that money, we keep talking about the money, the amount of money they spent. And even if you look at the, the, the play they fielded against our last Everton, you ask yourself that all the money that we spent, where are the players? Where are those players? Are you telling me that Fred is a part of the $1 billion spending? Mark Tomini, Alex Telles, $40 million. Is that what you are trying to tell me that the $1 billion play where the player that we saw at against uh, uh, what is the name? Uh, against Everton. Oh, my brothers. The English players are not meant for Manchester United alone. Now, Declan Rice is there. In fact, I love the guy. He's very good. But you can't tell any club in this world that they should go and buy Declan Rice at the price tag of 150 million. Come on, let's be, let's, let's, let's be realistic. The same thing they did to Maguire. Maguire is good for Manchester United. He's a ball playing mid, uh, defender. He is good, he's that. Manchester United went and cost 80 million to buy Maguire. Meanwhile, Leicester bought Maguire less than $10 million from, from Hall City. Just after two years, he was sold at 80 million cities to Manchester United. 
because of the English media. Maguire is good. He will solve Manchester United back. Now, after 80 million that we spent on Maguire, what happened? Even if we are selling Maguire today for 5 million, nobody is going to buy. Even the championship will have will have a, a, a second thought. Nobody will, will, will want to buy Maguire as of today for 5 million. A player that you bought for 80 million just over less than 2 years. You, that player value had dropped like 95%. It is highly wrong. Let me put it that way. The choice of players that the media prescribed Manchester United to buy is too is 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 too bad. And at the end of the day, the same pandit will come around and say. He's not a good player. Why do you go and spend 70 million? Why do you go and spend 80 million? He's not a good player. Today, the same media, today, the same papers, today, everybody is talking, is saying that Manchester United should go and buy the Clan Rice. And they are saying 150 million. How can, how on earth can somebody cough 150 million to go and buy a, 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 a midfielder? Hmm? The only players I know they can, they can buy at that price, no matter how good they are, it is a striker. Because they give you goals. Maybe if they didn't go through, he will be the, the highest I don't know. He will be the most expensive midfielder in the history of the game or in the history of transfers. Because I've not heard anywhere that they bought a, mid, uh, a, a, decent, a midfielder for, even not what uh, a Man City bought uh, Jack Grealish for 100 million. And Jack Grealish, if you look at his goal returns when he was at uh, um, Aston Villa, he was scoring goals and he was playing like a winger. Now you want to go and buy a box to box midfielder. So, 150 million, that is what they are quoting. Because they hear that Manchester United is sniffing around. At the end of the day, you buy this player, and after one year, two years, the player uh, uh, value drops. While, while other clubs are buying players, less players, less expensive players, and improve them and make their value go high, Manchester United rather go and buy with the recommendation of the media and the pundits. The, the Manchester United would rather go and buy high players, expensive players, and after one year, their value drop like 95%. Meanwhile, we have a club like Liverpool and Ayas and other um, selling clubs, Dortmund, that go and buy players, 10, 10 million, 5, 5 million, and after one year, they are selling them 1 billion. They are selling them 100 million, 50, uh, 150 million. You are here buying players 80 million, and after one year, the value reduced to 5 million. What kind of life is that? And today we are here, we are all shouting, Declan Rice, Declan is the, is, the, is, the, is, the, is the solution for Manchester United Midfield. And they are quoted 150. Go and buy my, uh, Harry Man, uh, this is, Declan Rice 150 million. Because English players are meant for Manchester United. Go and buy him. And let's see after one year what the result. No matter the kind of coach that we, 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 we have. Manchester United have to stop, stop thinking about spending and then develop, buy players that can play like a team and groom them, put players together. That's why they, when they went for Ten Hag, I was very, very uh, happy because he's a coach that when he has a team, all the players are, are, are at the same level. They are all a big players. Then he will, he will not 